is a devotee in uh, Vrindavan. He has been chanting since last 30 years. And his leader tells him that you keep on chanting, your relationship with the Lord will be revealed. Also, your sarup will get revealed if you keep on chanting like this. So, he is asking like how long he needs to chant since it's been 30 years he has been chanting. So, can you please enlighten me on this question? Chanting reveals your Swarupa, how you look like, how Lord looks like, how you serve the Lord. Chanting reveals all of this. Chanting re reveals Swarupa. Chanting doesn't reveal Samandha. Chanting, re chanting reveals Swarupa, but chanting doesn't reveal Samandha. Why? Because relationship with the Lord in a particular rasa is established at the time of initiation. At the time of Diksha, a particular relationship with the Lord is established by the spiritual master. All Sampradayas, they give one Bhav only and all the spiritual masters in that Sampradaya will give the Bhav of the Sampradaya into the heart of the new devotee at the time of Diksha. So if devotee is in the is in a Ram Sampradaya, he will get Diksha, the beej of being a Ram Das from that Sampradaya. Srila Jeev Goswami tells us about Diksha in his Grantha Bhakti Sandarbha. He, he quotes a Shastra, Divyam Gyano Yato Dadyat, Kuryat Papa Sankshayam, Tasma Dikshati Sa Prokta, that which bestows divine knowledge and destroys all sins is called Diksha by the Acharyas who know the truth. That which bestows divine knowledge, divine knowledge about whom? Divine knowledge about the Lord whom you are going to serve eternally and your relationship with the Lord in which relationship you are going to serve that Lord eternally. Shira Jeeva Swami, this Bhakti Sandarbha 283, he tells Devyam, he gives commentary, he tells Devyam Gyanam here Atra Srimati Mantre Bhagavat Swarup Gyanam Tena Bhagavata Samand Vishesh Gyanam Cha. He is telling here that Devyam Gyanam Yato Dadyat. Diksha means Devyam Gyanam Yato Dadyat, bestowing of Divya Gyan. And he is giving commentary again on this. He is telling what is Divya Gyan. Divya Gyanam here means Divya Gyanam here Atra. Here it is. Here it means the knowledge about the Lord's identity which lies in the mantra along with the specific knowledge of Jiva's relationship with the Lord. It means the devotee is getting initiated his relationship with the Lord and knowledge about the Lord. It is all there. It is established at the time of initiation. Or Sampradaya bestow only one bhava and the spiritual master bestows that bhava on his disciple. So, the question itself is not right that chanting will reveal relationship. Re relationship is already established at the time of Diksha if one is in a proper bona fide Sampradaya. If you are in Radha Vali Sampradaya, very plain and simple, you are worship you are worshippers of Radha Krishna as their Dasi. If in, in, in Radha Vallabhi Sampradaya Haridasi, you are all worshippers of Radha Krishna as their Dasi. Same in Bore Vash Sampradaya. We are worshippers of Radha Krishna as their Dasi. So what is the what is the question is wrong that your relationship will be revealed? Relationship was established. It is not going to be revealed. It was already established. What nonsense question? Relationship is going to be revealed. After 30 years, you don't even know what your relationship with the Lord is. And even a kid in any other Sampradaya will know his relationship with the Lord. Surupa will not, Surupa chanting will reveal. Kalyu Keval Lama Dhara. In Kalyuga, 
chanting of the holy names of the lord is a sol only solution for regaining your swarupa but relationship is established at the time of initiation only this is what shri ji ko swami is telling chanting does not reveal your relationship chanting reveals your swarupa relationship is bestowed by the sampradaya common sense understanding which sampradaya you are in that relationship you have with the lord is a common sense understanding seed of relationship with the eternal seed of your eternal relationship with the lord is given by the spiritual master seed brahman brahmite kon bhagyavan jeev guru krishna kripa pae bhakti lata beej that beej is the re eternal relationship with the lord your eternal relationship with the lord the beej the seed of that is bestowed at the time of initiation from the ears that that beej is bestowed and it gets established in your heart by the diksha mantras this question is wrong i don't even know my relationship with god do you don't know the meaning of sampraday you don't know the meaning of god avesh sampraday that means even after 30 years this devotee doesn't even know the meaning of sampraday doesn't even know the meaning of god avesh sampraday that is why he is asking this question chanting will, will reveal the swarup how you look like exactly how your nose is how your face is how your body is how krishna looks like that chanting will reveal but not the relationship chanting reveals swarupa chanting doesn't reveal sambandha sambandha is already established at the time of initiation and people this institution they say you are not qualified for radha krishna bhakti already the relationship is established eternal relationship is established and you are saying that you are not qualified despite getting the seed for that eternal relationship with the lord you are saying you are not qualified nimarkis are qualified radha valley is uh, are qualified haridas are qualified. only you are not qualified is kon body man devotees such an unfortunate people you are on on the planet earth only you people even are not qualified for serving radha krishna rest everyone uh, sir um, associated with them is qualified and the spiritual masters who give you mantra diksha he is your eternal spiritual master in nitya navdvip in spiritual world of navdvip that gurudev who gives you mantra diksha krishna mantra krishna gayatri etc he is your eternal spiritual master in spiritual world and he only is your guru mantri in nitya braj in the realm of brindavan eternally neither you know your swarup nor you know your guru swarup and you are practicing some form of spirituality you think in body of asha sampraday everyone in jagannathas baba ji's line is bhakti no thakur everyone knows our our lords are radha krishna we are dasya radha krishna and our guru is also dasya radha krishna their guru is dasya radha krishna entire sampraday is dasya radha krishna what is new to know you and here the cult called is gone or body of mat you don't even know you are swaru you don't even know you guru swaru and you are practicing some form of spirituality so someone thinks my guru is a sakha someone thinks prabhupa is a sakhi and someone thinks is a manjri someone thinks in vasalleras ye this is spirituality this is sampraday leave aside this whole body but go to entire body of master sampraday even a child can answer all of our guru parampara are are dasis of radha and krishna what is so difficult to understand why don't we accept a simple fact that beej the relationship beej is given at the time of initiation this is what jeep go swami shat go swami is telling very clearly the relationship with the lord is established at the time of initiation and hari naam is not diksha hari naam is not diksha give me one exam example my gurudev shri anand das baba ji maharaj let's assume he gave hari naam to some madhav das and the madhav das and baba ji is not there anymore and even if he was present at the planet then that madhav das uh, takes uh, initiation from uh, baba ji's disciple let's say keshav das then that madhav das who was who got hari naam from anand das baba ji but who got initiation from keshav das baba ji he will not be disciple of anand das baba ji he will be eternal disciple of keshav das baba ji or he gets initiation from me then he not that person got harinam from anand das baba ji he will not be his disciple he will be my disciple 
if, if I have given Harinam to someone and somehow he takes initiation from, let's say, uh, Krishnadas Babaji, then he will not be my disciple. He will be disciple of Krishnadas Babaji. That Krishnadas Babaji will be his eternal guru in spiritual world now to him and his guru Manjari in Vrindavan also. Be very clear, Harinam is not Diksha. Go to any Sampradaya. It's just a prelim preliminary phase. Harinam is not an absolute must that one must get Harinam and after that only one can get Diksha as it, it is done in ISKCON. Most of the times like 150-200 people left ISKCON when I left. So most of them, uh, many of them got uh, Diksha directly and few of them got Harinam. It's not an absolute must that Guru sees that to whom one should be giving Diksha and to whom one should be giving Harina. Harina is not an absolute must. Shini Masala didn't, didn't receive Harina from Gopal Bhatt Goswami. At the time of Diksha only he got Siddh Pranali also. You don't know your relationship with the Lord even after 30 years. It means you have not understood what Sampradha is, what Gaudiya Vashar Sampradha is, what Mahaprabhu has come to give. You haven't read any scripture properly. Mahaprabhu has come to give, which he never gave earlier. Anarpet Charin Chirat, Chira Roop Goswami. You are a Rupa Noga. For God's sake, at least understand this shloka. Anarpet Charin, which was not bestowed earlier. Sakheras was bestowed earlier. Dasya was bestowed earlier. Gopi Bhav also. Vasale Bhav also. Only service of Radha Krishna was not bestowed earlier. Parikya Bhav. This only Lord Chaitanya came here to give. And you think, you still don't have a uh, clue what your relationship with the Lord is. Very clear, all Gaudiya Vaishnas are Dasis of Radha and Krishna. What's so secretive about it? And again in this verse in uh, Chaitanya Chandramrit Grantha, verse 112, it's very clearly mentioned when, when Mahaprabhu bestowed this prema upon everyone, service of Radha and Krishna, Naiv Anne Asid Rasaha. No other Rasa remained on planet Earth. Only servitude to Radha and Krishna. Na ev anne asid rasaha. No other rasa remained. Only servitude to Radha and Krishna. The problem with most of the Escon devotees is they don't understand the meaning of Sampradaya. They don't understand what Gaudiya Vaishya Sampradaya is. They don't understand what Mahaprabhu has come here to give. Keep on chanting, it will reveal Surupa. Of course it will. But not relationship. Relationship is already established at the time of initiation. And this question, no Gaudiya Vaishya ever had 150 years ago. Because there is no Bhakti Siddhanta and this Escon philosophy. Kichini philosophy there. Everyone was very clear. Gaudiya Vaishya simply means Gaur Das and Radha Krishna Dasi. Chanting will lead Surupa. Of course it will. You tell me what is so difficult to understand in this. Half, 10 seconds I have explained to you entire Gaudiya Vaishnavas. And we see most of the devotees in Iskon, they get Harinam only. And if you ask them, have you got so called second initiation? Uh, they said, no, chanting will only reveal our Surupa and we will go to spiritual world even without getting Mantra Diksha. For once and for all, please understand Harinam is just an initial phase in a devotee's life. One must have diksha, get Mantra Diksha. Harinam, as I explained to you, like Anandas Babaji's mother, disciple Madhav Das, even upon getting Harinam from a Siddha Saint, Anandas Babaji, his, his relationship with the Lord was not established. After getting any session from Keshav Das Babaji or any other Babaji or any other saint, Mantra Diksha, only then eternal relationship with the Lord is established. So without Mantra Diksha, your eternal relationship with the Lord is not established. Please understand this once and for all. I have heard that people think that uh, second initiation they say. It is not second initiation, it is the only initiation. And uh, it is not Brahmani Diksha, it is Vaishnavi Diksha. Diksha means by which you become a Vaishnav. Vaishnav means by which you have a specific relationship with the Lord. And people think that one requires second initiation only if one wants to uh, serve deities. 
this is a unique concept only in scon you need mantra diksha only if you want to serve deities is there any logic to it jeev goswami says you get mantra diksha and by that you get seed of eternal relationship with the lord you don't understand this thing you think hari naam will bestow hari naam will bestow but without relationship hari naam will not bestow that you will have to take again a birth then you take initiation from a proper born proper body of uh, vaishnav lineage unbroken lineage proper mantra diksha that guru will become your eternal guru if you got hari naam and you have not got mantra diksha then you got no eternal guru you are you are an orphan even now even after getting hari naam you are in kind of an orphan orphan means no father no shelter on your head at the time of initiation in body of vaishnav sampradaya you get your eternal father eternal guru and you get eternal tilak at the time of hari naam you can you can get hari naam from any parivar but the the devotee who gives you initiation the guru who gives you initiation mantra diksha that tilak will be your eternal tilak most of the devotees in iskon their life goes in ignorance thinking that i have got initiated well they never got initiated they got only hari naam 90 95% of the devotees they get only hari naam and they think they got initiated and even after getting initiation uh, there is no point getting initiation from an uh, from a broken parampara from a made up parampara the initiation also has to be from an unbroken parampara which is 500 years old only then a relationship with the lord is established therefore those who say keep on chanting and later on you will get to know what is your relationship with the lord understand that they don't even know the abcd of bhakti to understand this you can read the grantha once deviated always deviated written by maharaj ji